Trust me, up until now, I was using my Android TV or Google TV wrong. So I recently made this comparison video comparing the Lumio Vision 9 to the TCL C755. Now, if you haven't watched that video, a link should pop up right now. Go check it out. And that's when I realized, hey, wait a second. There are so many Android TV apps out there that can actually enhance your experience. Now, if I didn't know about it, I felt like most people out there might not even know about it. So I was like, okay, let me help you guys out and let me help myself while I'm doing that. So the team together has picked out a variety of apps that includes launchers, that includes browsers, and even some free streaming apps. Trust me, if you have an Android TV at home, this video needs to be bookmarked. And of course, it needs to be shared with all your family members who use an Android TV or even your friends. All right, if you're here for the first time, I'm Ashad. This is Track and Take English, your destination for detailed, incisive gadget reviews. Now let's start off by talking about one aspect of the Android TV, Google TV experience that is always underwhelming. No points for guessing there. It is, of course, that whole software experience. Now, while Google TV itself is very nicely laid out, I like the content recommendations, all of that is pretty good. But over a period of time, it tends to get slow because these TVs generally are not very powerful. That's not it. In certain budget TVs, there are also ads inserted within the Google TV experience, which leaves a sour taste in your mouth. And since a lot of TVs, including the Lumio Vision 9, by the way, ships with an older version of Android, which is basically Android 11, you don't get Material U themed apps that you get on the Android 12 TV ecosystem. Anyway, this is the end of the rant. What I want to tell you are two awesome custom launchers that will definitely improve your TV experience. Let me start off by talking about Lean Back Launcher, which is by far our favorite launcher here. So Lean Back Launcher is minimal, it's lightweight, and it doesn't consume as many resources as Google TV does. The best part is it's of course free and open source, and the way it's designed is very simple. So basically it categorizes all that you do on your TV in three different categories. First, it categorizes all of your video apps, then it categorizes your games if you have any, and then finally it categorizes all the other apps. Of course, it won't have any content recommendations like Google TV does, but sometimes this kind of minimal experience actually is good because it also makes your TV TV run faster, especially if you have an older budget Android TV. The next launcher that we want to recommend is Projectivity. And this is actually a popular launcher that a lot of people actually use. Now, this launcher is also not as resource intensive as Google TV, but Lean Back is the leanest of launchers, by the way. But the reason why Projectivity is awesome is because of the amount of customization options that you get with it. For example, you can actually get custom launcher wallpapers from Reddit. And the fun fact is that you can actually use subreddits with wallpapers as your custom wallpaper. So say for example, if you want a subreddit of mid journey as your custom wallpaper, you can do that as well. Not only that, you can even apply custom accent colors across UI, which of course, even Google TV doesn't allow you to do. And you know, on Android phones, you can add custom icon packs. Well, with this projectivity launcher, you can do that for Android TV as well, which is crazy, right? By the way, a pro tip here is that how do you change your launcher if your TV doesn't give you that option? Well, there is this uh, tool called Key Remapper. Just download that and remap your home button to switch to a custom launcher. See, tips like these, you will get it only here at Track and Take English. And therefore, we need your support so that we can make more awesome videos like these. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. By the way, if you've already started searching for Lean Back Launcher, you would have realized that it's not available on the Play Store. Now, that's where the twist comes in. You need to download it from the internet using a browser. And you'll be like, Eshot. My TV doesn't have a browser. What do I do about it? Well, Play Store has an app called Browser. Yeah, the name suggests it all. So it's a basic browser where you can just do your basic web browsing, but it also has a few features stacked on top of it. For example, it supports partial smartphone functionality, which means that you can install the client on the smartphone and use it as your TV remote and trackpad. So you don't have to rely on your remote for, you know, internet connectivity. You can actually use the keyboard on your smartphone to type out web page addresses, which is damn nice. Of course, you get all of the browser features like bookmarking pages, downloading files, including that lean back launcher that you were trying to download. You can even enter desktop view and clear your search history. And I know why everybody wants to clear their search history. It also comes with an incognito mode and a safety feature where you can add your own four digit pin to ensure that nobody unlocks without your permission. My next app recommendation is actually the streaming service that I was talking about. And this is for all the otakus out there. 
Now you must be wondering, oh, free hotstar Netflix content. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm talking about. This is a free open source software called Anime TV. Now you get a huge library of anime titles that are generally not available on many of your popular streaming apps. If, for example, we saw Attack on Titans. That's available here. Also, I don't even have to mention this. The app is actually tuned really well for the TV and it looks very good. There are no extra ads and there is no hidden data collection either, which is very, very nice. My next app recommendation is actually a keyboard. So you'll be like, Esha, Gboard exists. I can use it. Well, on Android TV, it's actually really, really badly implemented. It feels like a stretched version of the Android Gboard that has been ported over to TV and therefore it doesn't work very well with D-pads. And that's where Lean Key Keyboard comes in because it is very well tuned for D-pad usage and it is extremely smooth and easier to use compared to Gboard. And by the way, Gboard doesn't even have a proper search button. And one useful thing, which is a niche usage sort of, is the fact that Lean Key also comes with a dedicated search button. So if you're using an external keyboard, it's better to use Lean Key compared to Gboard because it'll be cumbersome on Gboard. Now, while Android has good file management, Google TV does not, which is such a pity, right? Well, not anymore because we found CX File Explorer to be fantastic for Android TV. Now, while Android phones generally have great inbuilt file managers, Android TVs don't. Not anymore because we found CX File Explorer to be awesome and that's an app that you must definitely download from the Play Store. Now, I'll give you three reasons why it is awesome, okay? So firstly, it's very user-friendly and it organizes all your files into clear categories like images, videos, and apps. It also has a clean layout and it is optimized very well for Android TV's big screen. And the file management system is very versatile. It supports essential things like copying, moving, renaming, and deleting files. And another good feature is that you get support for FTP, therefore you can transfer files using a Wi-Fi mesh network. But for that, you don't necessarily need to use the CX File Explorer because local send exists for Android TV. And that app, trust me, is a godsend. It just works across multiple platforms for transferring files across platforms using this, which are in the same Wi-Fi network. We've already spoken at length about how local send is one tool that we've used regularly for Android phones and iPhones. Now, well, it is also useful on Android TVs. Yes, it's like an enlarged version of an Android smartphone app, but it works. The functionality is very, very good. My next recommendation is the Aerial Views screensaver app. And I'm recommending that primarily because I generally use an Apple TV at home and the screensavers in Apple TV are awesome. The same is not true for Google's screensaver app and therefore we use the Aerial Live wallpaper app because all of that aerial screensaver that you see looks pretty damn awesome on your Android TV as well. Now for this, what you need to do is actually download the app from the Play Store. Now, once you open the app, you need to go to the video source and use Apple videos and select the highest video quality. You can select up to 4K and Dolby Vision, but remember that you need to have a good speedy internet connection. Otherwise, it's going to look pixelated. Now, while Play Store is the default for Android TV for downloading apps, there are other stores that can do an even better job. There's Aurora and there's F-Droid, both of which are available on Android smartphones as well. But on Android TV, you get some really cool apps that generally are not available on Play Store. For example, there are these two apps that we really like, Newpipe and Jellyfin. Now, Newpipe is a YouTube alternative app. It basically provides an ad-free and privacy-focused interface for YouTube. And Jellyfin is basically an open source software that works as a media server. Now, coming back to F-Droid and Aurora, both these Play Store alternatives have massive uh, community bases behind it and you constantly keep getting great recommendations as well. Now, my final app recommendation is APK Updater. The name suggests its functionality. It basically gives you a list of all the updates that are there right now for all the apps that are installed in your TV. And this cuts through all the apps downloaded from every single store. That includes Play Store, F-Droid, Aurora, all of it. All right, so those were our list of the 10 most useful apps that you need to install in your TV in 2025 right now. Go ahead, do that, because all of these apps are genuinely useful and they will enhance your TV experience, especially stuff like launchers and, uh, you know, the File Explorer app. Anyway, try them out. Let us know what you guys think and let us know if you want more videos like this. And the reason why we made this is also because we made this 11 free apps for Windows 11, which you guys enjoyed. So we thought that there are people using Android TVs as well and these kind of videos will do well for them as well. So which is why we went ahead and did that. And hopefully the recommendations are good. In fact, if you guys have any specific recommendations that I should know about, the team should know about do let us know in the comments all right i'll see you guys in the next one until then keep tracking and stay safe